Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we are going to show you the difference between grid view, wave view, and list view. Now, without further ado, let's get started. If you look at my screen, you'll see I have a simple drum loop loaded. Let's go ahead and play it. All right, just a simple 808 and a clap. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at grid view. But wait, we're already there. So grid view essentially shows you what you're doing in the step sequencer, right? So as I lay down new instruments, that's pretty much what grid view is. Let's go ahead and lay a hi-hat just so I can pretty much show you. All right, now if you look at the screen, we're already in grid right here. All right, so we're going to put down a hi-hat. And that's essentially grid view. So it's not overly complicated. I know the software can look kind of complicated at times, but essentially that's grid view. Now, let me show you what wave view is. Really cool. This is wave view, right? And as an added bonus, you can actually make this full screen. All you have to do is go down to the bottom left side. And where you see those two bars, click it to turn it into one. Boom. So wave view is basically, it's kind of like sample edit, essentially. So let's say I want to go back to my 808. Wave view essentially shows you the waveform of the actual sample that you're working with. That's my snare, hi-hat, cowbell clap right so wave view automatically changes with whatever instrument I or excuse me with whatever sample I have loaded up but the cool thing about that is from here let's say I have my 808 if I want to play around in wave view and I want to warp this sample I can do it from this window and then I could just go back to the grid like nothing happened so let's go ahead and warp our 808 I click the warp button up here and it's stretched to 98 and it sounds like this. So when it's at 100%, it essentially sounds the same thing, right? Now, notice as I play with the stretch, the sample gets longer or shorter. So I'm gonna bring it all the way down. Remember, it sounds like this. Now, I brought the time stretch all the way down to 25%. Here's what it sounds like. Play the clip. So notice our drum sounds different. Now I'm gonna bring the stretching all the way up. Let's see how our clip sounds now. Notice the samples are starting to run into each other because the way I stretched the sample it essentially stretched out the 808. And if you go to clip view, or excuse me, if you go to grid view, all of the events are still in the same place. I didn't move a thing. I just did some stuff in wave view that changed things up. So now I'm gonna turn off warp. My drum is back to normal now. And we'll go into warping in a different tutorial. But anyway, to show you the last view, we're gonna go to list view. Now, list view looks really complicated, but all you have to remember about list view is it's showing you all of the events that are happening, all of the MIDI events that are happening in the sequence. So we have three different instruments on our track so far. We have a kick, we have a hi-hat, and we have a clap. All right, now let me show you how list view works. I'm about to press play. So essentially, as you can see, list view is just showing all the MIDI data that's attached to grid view. And wave view just shows you the waveforms of the actual samples that you have loaded up in your drum program. So they all work together. It can look kind of complicated, but again, 
Hopefully we broke it down in a simple way. If you still have any questions, feel free to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. And don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. With that said, we'll see you guys next week. Peace.